In this lesson, we're going to talk about the most common way in TypeScript for defining custom object types, which is interfaces. So what we have here on the screen is an example of a plain TypeScript object. As we know via type inference, this object already has a type, so the TypeScript compiler has inferred that the object has three properties, two strings and a number. Now imagine that we would have multiple course variables here in our program and we would like to reuse the definition of this type in multiple places. So for that we are going to be defining a custom object type and the most common way of doing that is by defining a TypeScript interface. So we are going to be defining here an interface of type course and we are going to be defining the first property which is going to be a string. Next, let's also add here the subtitle property, also a string, and finally, let's add here lessons count, which is going to be a number. And with this, we have defined here our first TypeScript interface. So this is the type definition for a custom object type. We can now refer to this type by name. For example, we can add here a type annotation. Now that we have defined the name for this type, we can reuse it in other variables. So for example, if we would have here another variable, let's create here a copy of this and let's give the variable another name. So this is the other course variable. Then we could reuse here the exact same type definition. So with interfaces, we only have to define our custom object type in one place of the application and we can reuse that type definition wherever we need it throughout the program. Let's now talk about property modifiers. So whenever we add a property to an interface, by default that property is mandatory. So for example, if I go here to this other course variable and I remove one of the properties, then we're going to see that immediately we get here a compilation error saying that the property lessons count is mandatory and it needs to be part of this object. Now, if we want to make this property optional instead of mandatory, we just have to add here a question mark in front of the property name and now the compilation error has been fixed. Besides making properties optional, we can also make them read only if we want to. By default, every property in an interface can be written to. So for example, if I access here the course object and let's say we access the title and we assign it a new value hello world, this does not pose any problem to TypeScript. So this instruction here is effectively overwriting here the value of the title. You might be wondering, but isn't this a constant? But because we have added a constant here to the course variable, that does not mean that the properties of the course cannot be changed. So const here only means that the reference to the course object itself cannot be assigned a new value. So that's what const is protecting us against. It's protecting us against the reassignment of values here to course, but it does not prevent us from modifying the properties here of the course object. That is still possible. However, if we want to make this title property read only for some reason, we can do so by adding here the read only property modifier. And now all of a sudden we get here a compilation error preventing us from rewriting the title. As you can see, interfaces are a very powerful way of defining custom object types in TypeScript. Let's now talk about the difference between interfaces and type aliases that we have covered on previous lessons.